What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys the next phase in the Leviathan Raid. This would be called the Gauntlet, I believe, or it could be called the Royal Race, whatever you guys want to call it. This is my favorite part of the raid. It's not too difficult, but there is a puzzle to it, and we were doing a very difficult way, and then I came up with a very efficient way to get this done. Pretty much anybody can get it done, so this video should help you and your full fire team filled with whoever is on it. But before we get into the video, in the last video, I accidentally said that I'm giving away a Confluence Emblem code big mistake it was actually destiny silver so that winner will be getting destiny silver i apologize for that for this video i'll be giving away another destiny silver as well first off i want to thank you guys for all the support on my videos liking and subscribing it allows me to give more things away to you guys and it allows us this family to grow so i really do appreciate that now before we get into the guide make sure to like this video and comment down below to be a part of that giveaway and make sure you're a subscriber because the winner will be dm directly and number two if you need help with raid trials or any quests in destiny make sure you read the description below because we guarantee it and we've been doing it since day one of destiny one and we're going to continuously help every single day so thank you guys once again for the support now let's get into it what you want to do is you want to have four people on the outside and two people go on the inside there's an orb that spawns after you kill all the ads and the centurions once you kill those guys a big bell dings and then two sides will have little orbs that spawn as soon as somebody picks up that orb you are essentially on the outside you can call it a rat race you can call it whatever this is very important once that person goes in there's nine a wall of nine holes and there's going to be a random ring that's glowing i believe it'll be glowing red now what you want to do is you want to call out what level that ring is so for example if it's the middle hole in the middle ring because there's three rows so it's the second row middle ring it doesn't matter what ring it is but it does matter what row it is so for example if it's on the bottom row you'll say bottom and then top and middle so why is that relevant is because the people on the outside for that respective jumping puzzle need to be standing on those platforms when you're standing on the platforms it raises that platform all the way up all the way up and then what you want to do is you want to shoot those little arrows pointing down now when you're on the platform those arrows will turn blue and when you shoot the two respective arrows that you're supposed to and i'll get into more detail about that those arrows will blink white and once you do it right all three arrows will turn green letting you know that the person on the outside can now go through and jump through that specific hole now the person on the outside does need to jump through that specific hole that's glowing but the person can only do that and only should do that once the arrows on the outside are green and the way you do that is once you land stand on the platform that's when heal on the inside know what hole or is glowing on the outside so make sure that you get to your places immediately now for example you shoot the two i noticed that let's say for example the person on the outside says the top row right then you have to shoot the middle arrow and the bottom arrow when you shoot those two since they're so close together you can actually shoot it with a submachine gun back to back and that way you can do it yourself otherwise let's say the person on the outside says middle row now you have to shoot the top arrow and the bottom arrow that's where you're gonna need help so the strategy that we did and we were doing it wrong we had four people each on a platform last time but no what you need to do is two people need to be teamed up with one runner on each side and you need to clockwise go around to each platform after you light up those arrows a little scion pops up in a bubble right you have to kill that scion in that bubble if you do not then it's going to eat up the light on the guys on the inside and you will die after you complete a full lap because it's just rinse and repeat you have to shoot the arrows so essentially this is how it goes the person on the outside is stuck you land on the um platform you raise the platform up now the person can start running he calls out top row then you shoot the middle and bottom arrows and then your arrows turn green then you can run and rotate over to the next platform the person that's your teammate still on the inside will have to go and kill that old scion but it's just one melee the old scion will spawn you have to kill it and you we call it the old scion because it, it looks like it's frozen in a bubble and like no one has touched it in a long time so after you complete a full lap then the people from the outside can take a little teleporter and you'll see in this video and now they become inside the map with a charged orb and then they go and slam that little garden pineapple thing looking in the middle of the map 
then damage phase comes you'll kill a bunch of little ads right scions and then these cabal and then the big centurions will come up and you want to help what we did for the ad phase was we just had each person designated to a certain platform and we had two people roaming around and just helping that then as soon as that's done you want to go back with your original team right and you want to just start the process and then the person on the inside will call out what row it is you never want to shoot the same arrow of the row he's calling so if he says top row you don't want to ever shoot the top arrow you want to shoot the middle and bottom arrow and you know correlate it correctly you're going to go through another phase right and then you're going to go in both of them are going to come in and you're going to slam you only need five slams you don't need all six i believe in hard mode you're going to need all six but for this one you only need five so we did it perfectly on this run so you don't have to worry about it but if you mess up if one of them messes up just keep continuing if somebody dies you have one res token meaning each person on your fire team can res once uh, giving everybody essentially two lives uh, pretty much if you die correctly in the right order and then once that's done you come and slam and then you go ahead and do it for a third time now after the third time when you do it as long as you do everything right then everyone's gonna get an orb and it's very interesting. You'll see exactly what it is where you just start going in and now you have to go and it is a fiasco. Frame rate is a big issue. Make sure that you know your Xbox doesn't crash on you. But essentially what you need to do is you need to go through these and you need to pick up those orbs to continue living and you need to make sure you don't fall into the holes. This is a pretty hectic, chaotic moment in the end. The only thing is only one person needs to make it out. Only one person out of our team made it out. So when that person made it out, he slams, goes into the garden and slams and you're all good to go. The difficult part is, is that you need to coordinate and make sure at least one person goes. We were all being so greedy and we're like, okay, we all got to go. And my slow ass warlock was so far behind. Yeah, this definitely helps if you're a hunter or a titan because you're much faster than a slow warlock. So anyways, you guys are going to see me die, but it's good because then you guys can see exactly what the main guy who actually made it is going through and he's going to get done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped. I hope I didn't miss anything. And if I did, please comment down below to help other people. A like on the video, sharing and subscribing mean a lot and it helps a lot. I'm going to be doing a big giveaway at 75,000 subscribers, probably a console giveaway. And at 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a freaking huge bundle giveaway because that's a huge milestone for me. I appreciate it. I really hope that you guys get the best loot i actually got the raid submachine gun and the team pretty much got every other weapon so i'm going to be making a video on all the weapons in the raid they look beautiful and we feel that they're going to be really really powerful as well thank you guys so much for watching i really hope this video helped we'll see you guys in the next one and all the raid guides are on this channel so check those out and share with your friends peace out